Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vishal. In this video, let's have a look on Bevel Pro feature in the sub tool. You could able to see we have the Bevel Pro here. This is a plugin. So I would like to just click that and then apply Bevel to the model. But the question is where does this Bevel applies to? So the Bevel applies to the edges which are separated by polygroups. That's one condition. And the other condition is uh, two polygroups should not lie on one same plane. And uh, as you could see, there is a change in the polygroup and, and in the angle. And there's a, a possible chance of applying bevel or chamfer in the corners. So for that, I'm going to hit the bevel pro here. And then you should able to see this particular result there. Okay. So we have uh, uh, different options here. But before going into that, I'll just directly, I mean, reset this and then get a result out of it. And then I'll increase the bevel amount okay and then apply the result okay and then i press shift f so that you could able to see and here what's happening is uh, the zbrush has created three models on or two models on top of it so i'll be selecting that models as you could see this is one model which is going to be added to the previous mesh and then the other model which is uh, going to be our uh, mesh which is going to separate or chip off from so these three results come together and give you the beveled output. So I'll be selecting this uh, sub tools and delete those sub tools. And then I would keep a normal matte cap gray material and then go to the bevel pro. And you should able to see, firstly, I would like to go to the display colors. And there are four things which are happening here. The first one is this light blue color, which is the mesh color. You could able to see that this mesh is the original mesh. Then you got the edges which are represent in red color. You should able to see that's in the middle. So that is the edge to which my bevel is going to be applied. So there are so many other edges. They are not seen here as you could see. Amount is the amount of bevel which is happening as you could able to see this point. And this point is the distance of the bevel amount as I can increase this and these two points move farther away. And also you got the filling which is the light red color. So when I apply OK, the original mesh and this red color mesh are ex uh, exported separately to the ZBrush and later booleans are applied there. I can work with this particular tool called auto apply where the bevel is applied and then you send the model there. Okay. So let me just uh, cancel it and then check the polygon groups here. So the result here is based on the polygroups and uh, I need to fix the polygroups to get much better result. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, these two polygons and press Ctrl W. These two polygons press Ctrl W. So there is a separation here. I do that uh, with uh, these polygons also. So you should be able to see the polygroup separation is very important in this case. So I've, I've just changed the polygroups for all the sides uh, for which I was getting the artifacts to. So I'm, I'm just hitting the bevel pro and then when I just apply auto apply, then the result which was there last time, which was quite messy is now much better because the polygrouping was done to get the bevels wherever required. If not, the bevel was not seen on this edge because the polygroup of this plane and the polygroup of this plane are same. So uh, there are two types of bevels. I mean, um, the effects what you are trying to get. So one is the bevel and another one is the chamfer. So I'm using the chamfer so that I get that nice round corners on all sides. Then you got, uh, if I just uh, check with this feature called uh, preview edges, which will give me that edges which are now newly created after the bevel. In this you got a triangulate option for the bevel junctions and for the surface. So I'll switch off all the, those points and you should be able to see these edges are no triangles now. Okay. And uh, you also have the uh, mesh resolution, which you can reduce to some amount of poly count. Okay. Or you can increase those resolution if you want a higher one. Uh, you got a smooth connection. That is uh, something which you need to check here when there is a bevel happening. So the bevel is a roundness which is uh, newly created and this is the original mesh and here if we have a transition okay which is hard 
there you could generally hit smooth connection and it generally fixes and uh, we have a option called generate in a part if you remember when i created uh, the instead of auto apply okay uh, i've created this mesh so when i say generate in a part it creates an additional mesh which is going to help us create much better you know a bevel op operation so it sort of fixes things so this option and this option is uh, try these two options when you're getting some troubles uh, just to troubleshoot your uh, minor artifacts sir. the next thing is the mesh which we have created after boolean uh, if you remember that rim type of model if you increase the mesh offset amount that model is going to be expanded more like that so i'll just uh, increase the mesh offset amount and you don't see in the normal mode but when i just go to the auto apply mode off then you should be able to see the offset can be seen clearly okay so 0.5 keeps it to the edge to edge thing okay uh, we also have the sharp feature on and sharp feature off now you should be able to see uh, when i'm applying this to off the bevels are sort of leaking out or making it more smooth and soft when i say sharp it is keeping that pretty much sharp towards the corner and then we got the polygroup angle so consider this mesh and that mesh as two different polygroups and then certain times you get sort of leakage then you can generally increase the polygroup okay so what is uh, polygroup is basically uh, when two separate i mean uh, let's say this uh, uh, polygroup and this polygroup are at a 90 degrees angle and you get a beveled corner but sometimes if the angle is like 15 20 degrees and bevel pro ignores or adds bevel in certain um, lines which are slightly angled in that case to control whether to have or not the bevel you can try polygroup angle and cut down or bring down or avoid this uh, bevel happening in that particular edges okay and also we have a option called polish by group it, it very much works like your previous uh, deformation tool called polish by groups uh, if i increase that it polishes the model so i'll just uh, go back and then i have to switch off those triangle options off okay and then auto apply and then resolution back to two or maybe three and then apply okay and uh, the triangles are because of uh, it's trying to fix the n-gons after the result what we have got so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the z remeasure tool okay in the geometry section z remeasure keep the groups on and then you take around six or seven thousand of polygons and then apply z remeasure then you should get the z remeasure applied here so there's an error then you should be able to see the result as achieved the keep groups button is showing up some error maybe i have to clean up this mesh and then retry it uh, before i work on keep groups option if not the z remeasure is giving me uh, this particular result after the bevel has been applied so z a bevel pro can be used in hard surface modeling okay where you are where you want to really bevel things up we also have bevel tools in z modeler tool you can check that too to apply the bevel wherever required if you got any questions related to the bevel pro you can ask me in the comment section and i request you to like my channel uh, like my video and subscribe my channel thank you